Today I've got a brand new Fright Crate subscription box. This is the June 2020 box, but it's actually the newest box that we have received from Fright Crate. So what they do, on June 1st, they released the June box, but they actually don't start shipping the June boxes until July. So like this was shipped back on July 15th, okay? So it wasn't shipped until halfway through July, and I got this towards the end of July. But this is actually the newest box, the June box. So I've already purchased the July box. I won't get that one until the middle to late of August. So that's how Fright Crate does their boxes. This is a $30 Scary Horror Fright Crate subscription box. Usually uh, there's every month, there's usually a t-shirt, which some of the t-shirts have been really cool in the past. We've had some really cool Freddy Krueger t-shirts, some Child's Play t-shirts, Candyman t-shirts. There's actually been some very cool t-shirts in this box. And there's always a monthly kind of like a little vinyl figurine made by the Serial Resin Company. Those actually sell really well on eBay. Last month's box, I sold that resin figure for 40 bucks on eBay. I sold it for more than what the box even cost. So I sold a one item from last month's box, got all my money back, plus made a little bit, kept everything else for totally free. How crazy is that? You ready to do this? So the August 1st box will go on sale August 1st at 12.01 a.m. And usually the boxes sell out the first day, it seems like. Because for 30 bucks, it uses a pretty decent value. If you're a fan of horror, you should like this box. You'll have a, a good time opening up this box to see what is in it every single month. Here we go. Top of the box, we've got some paper on top. Pull that out first. Sometimes they use computer printer paper. This time they used uh, actual packing paper this month. Let's pull the t-shirt first, see what it says. T-shirts are actually one of the best items in this box, in my personal opinion. I'll show the camera first what the t-shirt looks like. And it is Poltergeist. Very oddly shade of purple for this t-shirt. I wonder if they meant the logo to look that purple. It's a very purple-esque logo, or like this picture in general. Um, I'm not too sure I actually will keep this shirt. It's, it's, an, it's okay, it's okay. A little bit of a letdown for the shirt, honestly. I do like the movie Poltergeist. Um, it's just, it's, I think it's more, it's just the color on this shirt. I just, I don't, I think the color didn't come out correctly because I doubt it was supposed to come out so purple. Everything on this shirt's like purple. Like the skin tones are purple. The hair's purple. The low is purple. The house is purple. Everything's, the skulls are purple. Everything's kind of like a purple. Kind of odd that it came out that way. So like this, I will be selling this on my eBay store. So drain link down below. In the description box is video to my eBay store where I actually have like over, I think like 500 items for sale right now from collectibles to electronics to home goods to clothes. Check it out. There's something on that website for everybody. Also link to my Poshmark account too if you want to check out my, my Poshmark closet. Next item. We have a Ravenstag Hannibal Antler Keyring Holder says hang keys or other items on the hook or antlers no drilling required St stick and peel adhesive oh, i showed you that didn't i i guess i should showed you that which is the front i was looking at Let's see what this looks like a little intriguing oh. okay there's the peel and stick adhesive that goes on the back of the Ravensteg Hannibal antlers. Obviously, you put the antlers into this. You can hang stuff on it. That'll be for sale. My eBay store. You want to pick up this? It'll be for sale. Eh, not really my cup of tea. So with mystery box, these subscription boxes, you won't like every single item in every single box. It's just it's impossible. But what's nice, things you do not like, you know what? Sell them on eBay. Not a big deal. 
I'd say if as long as it is a good subscription box, if, if it's a good company, you can always get your money back, if not make some money on every single box. Like last month's box, I made money on it and kept a few things. So yeah, first two things in this box, not only my cup of tea, sell them both. Let's see, next, monthly pin. A lot of these pins I actually sell really well, like 10, 15 bucks. I do not collect pins. I sell most every single pin. They have only kept a few of them. Not very many, but oh, it's kind of cool. We have a Jason Voorhees pin. He has kind of like a weed whacker and actually it spins, it looks like. This is a Fright Crate exclusive enamel pin, Jason Voorhees. I bet this is a Friday the 13th part seven rotating pin. So Kane Hodder is Jason. His first one was Friday the 13th, part eight. Because he was Jason in part eight, nine, 10. And then like Jason goes to space, whatever that one was called. So he was in like four of them, eight, nine, 10, and 11, I think, right? Eight through 11. Yeah, and then the Freddy versus Jason was played by somebody else. So this was the movie before Kane Hodder took over as Jason, but pretty cool, I bet it, I bet it sells for 10, 15 bucks. So yeah, I, I I won't keep that. I don't I don't ever keep probably ever keep my pins. Okay, next item. Looks like we have a magnet. Kind of cool looking. It's like a hard magnet. I'm drawing a blank. What creature that this thing is? I'm just drawing a total blank. What that's from? These boxes will have a cheat sheet in there. We'll look at the cheat sheet at the very end to see, you know, what I said wrong or maybe what I just don't realize what I'm looking at. Okay, we have, looks like one thing left. Here is the cereal resin figure. This is kind of like the big expensive item from the box. Like I said, last month I sold for 40 bucks. Um, I actually did keep the Jason Voorhees figure from last year. It's actually up here on top of my sneaker wall. I kept that one. I kept another one too, but most of them I actually sell because they make pretty good money on these things. Here we go with the cereal resin figure. Oh, sweet, Fright Night. That's kind of cool. That's one of the female vampires from Fright Night. I bet you this sells really well. I bet you this, honestly, this figure will probably sell for the price of the entire box. I would not be shocked whatsoever this thing sold for like 30 bucks. That's actually pretty high quality. The hair actually looks really good. Yeah, the Cereal Resin Company, it doesn't say that's who made it, but usually they're the ones who make them for Fright Crate. They actually make some pretty high quality little figurines. They're always impressive and they sell really well. Like they, you can make money on these things. So that's the Fright Crate box for 30 bucks. Let's see the cheat sheet. There's the cheat sheet first. What it looks like, if you can actually see it on camera, not too sure if it's even showing up. What's in the box, June 2020, exclusive Amy bust from Fright Night. A delightfully evil and frightening piece. Another fantastic offering from the Cereal Resin Company. Exclusive only to Fright Crate. You like this? I bet you it sells for 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Actually, nothing in this box, I'll probably, I won't keep anything from this box, which is fine. No big deal. I actually, I'll sell everything in this box. I'll probably make 20, 30 bucks profit on this box. The exclusive there here shirt poltergeist, which you saw the, the first shirt with that weird purplish tint to it. It just, I just didn't like the colors on the logo, the picture. I just, I just didn't like it. it says they're here on Fright Crate digital painting by our favorite artist, Max Cape. So it's not the artist's fault. It's just the coloring. It just doesn't look right. I don't know. But exclusive, the Haunted Mask, ma oh, from Goosebumps. So I guess from the Nickelodeon TV show, Goosebumps. I think it's Nickelodeon, right? Goosebumps. Second, oh, this is actually made also from the Cereal Resin Company. I bet this actually probably sells for 20 bucks. Second outing from Cereal Resin Company, inspired from one of our all-time favorite Goosebumps episodes. I don't think I've seen it. Maybe I have. Exclusive Friday the 13th, rotating pin. Exclusive pin with spinning saw blade action two inch soft and manual double clutch. An exclusive Raven Stag key holder Hannibal TV show. So this month's mystery theme item, the antlers are the key holder. So that is the June 2020 Fright Crate. 
Once I sell everything in this box, I bet you I can probably make 60, 70 bucks back. I can probably double my money if not more. So you know what? That's a positive. So that's the nice thing about mystery boxes. As long as it has good content in it, you can make money on these boxes. So I'll see you next month with another bright crate. So stay tuned.